Hey guys, James here with Johnson RV in Puyallup, Washington. Today we're taking a look at the 2005 Chinook Glacier. Uh, nice little B-plus model we have here. First thing we're going to do is just walk on the outside, do a quick walk around, and then we'll head in the interior and kind of show a couple of the features. Uh, first things first, outside, beautiful paint job right here down below, so what we call a partial paint. The very front we have this 3M film that's kind of nice against rocks, debris hitting you on the road, it has protection there. Again, we're short in the B-plus, meaning we don't have an, a an overhead above, instead it's that slanted back. Great visibility when it's sitting in the driver's seat. Um, working back here, of course, we have our electric steps. Light is open and closed when we go inside the door. Uh, nice big down here, some storage. Let's take a gander of that. This is equipped with, it's fully contained, so we have our gas and electric water heater here. We also have our onboard generator, runs on the same fuel as our chassis does. Nice little chrome piece down there for the exhaust to it. Right down here, we're going to have a receiver. If you're going to tow a small boat, car, or even a bicycle rack, great spot for it to go. We also have all the wiring sub right down here. So if we are doing the small car and you want to break down the road, you're all wired up and ready to go. Full access ladder going up there. Now, it's a shorter model. We still have that slide, and this is me on the driver's side. So all the way down here, drive. Slide room, nice, big, well compact. On this piece down here, we open this up is where our batteries are at. They slide and operate on that tray, so we're not going to have to rustle or anything there and try to work with those batteries far on the back. But the real charm of the units is in the inside, so let's take a look and see some features in there. Hey guys, so we're inside the 2005 Glacier right now. We're going to start just in the cab area. So again, E450 chassis we're on. Um, right there in the corner, you know, a little red switch. That's because we have power defrosted mirrors, so those going to heat up in the morning. They're also power operated. Um, right down below the steering wheel, that little box you're seeing is brake control. Great thing if you plan on doing any towing whatsoever or in the future, wonderful piece to have. We're already set up for it. Cup holders right here. Kind of a fun thing, your backup camera is integrated right here in the visor. That way you're looking, instead of looking backwards, turn your head right to where you want to see, just like you're using your backup camera. Right there, and of course this can be on in transit in case we're towing anything again. Um, this is a little bit of a, a small command center Chinook put in. This is where we can do our battery boost, start and stop our generator, coach batteries. For example, right now our generator's on and shows you, hey, we're using our 12 volt lights and we're charging. Um, right up here, right above the driver, leveling jacks from HWH. Also with our slide out controller right here, one nice little area, a light that indicates, hey, you're ready to operate that slide, it's all warmed up. You doing any traveling with the direct TV, we're playing right there, same with our DVD player. Kind of a cool thing back here too, we open this up all the way back here, a little storage we can push all the way through, just give an example, my hand goes all the way back. <laughs> He goes into behind the TV, speakers above, and these are flex steel chairs up in the cab area, but what makes them a little bit differently, each one's equipped with a back massager. So going down the road, if you guys really want to take it nice and easy, two different zones of comfort, back massage the whole trip. Right behind the driver's seat, couch, and this couch is going to be your sleeping arrangement. It's complemented with a beautiful window, but I'm going to take a look to show you how this works. So we'll move this bed forward initially. Nice and forward, and we'll drop this guy all the way down. Now, when this is down, it's going to make into a nice big bed. Super easy to do, really easy to put away in the morning, and it gets to be a huge thing. We'll put that back up. Real quick, real fluid movement all the way throughout. It's kind of a high quality coach. And then, with all these buttons, we push this in, that means we're locked and we're not going to move and go anywhere in transit. You push these, and well, we have handles and big storage all the way throughout. I'm not sure if the video doesn't do it any justice, but just the cabinetry work of this. Beautiful, real wood, wonderful shape. Open up this back piece. Look at that shower. Again, this is a short little B plus, and that's a shower you can be proud of. All right, and then this is a Nook style kitchen, so I'm gonna be the one on deck here. One person can add a roll everywhere, a lot of counter space, hard surface countertop. Big microwave glove up here. Rain should. Extendable piece out for those pots and pans. Again, they have a lot of windows in here just to let in natural light. Nice deep, 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 deep excuse me, big deep sink, sinks right here. We're working way back into the fridge. This is both gas and electric. We also have a 12 volt setting. So we have all three way fridge with an automatic setting. If you were to be unplugged, I'll automatically turn over to propane or gas. And then right here on the passenger side, we have two chairs that kind of complement each other and be a nice little seating arrangement. Nice thing is too, we sit down, pull this guy out. Nice little base, easy to read a book here, enjoy. We're at the beach, easy to look out here, enjoy every scenery. 
We have our day and night shades in case we want a little bit of privacy and then full blown second setting for nighttime. No one can see in or out. It's a wonderful laid out coach, guys. If you have any questions, be sure to ask for James at 253-286-0833. Thank you.